Alright! Welcome back everybody to Know It All DM Entertainment. I'm Know It All DM. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing great hanging out with my pals. Dark, Frag, a lot that keeps moving around. And G or G Yondu. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... So, last episode we built a new space station. We put down some... Uh, started our teleport chain. And uh, this week we're going to continue our teleport chain. But first, we're going to do a few renovations. Um, Dark has a small vessel he wants to spawn in, but it won't fit in the uh, the Raptor class bays here. So I'm going to move the Raptor class bays. I'm going to have two of them uh, leaving this one, and I'm going to put one over here. And I'm going to build another large, do large small vessel docking bay. And uh, then once he's got that spawned in, I guess we'll go ahead and start working on our uh, teleport chain. And we are still just outside, uh, what do you call it? Yes, uh, we're just outside Legacy Territory right now. Legacy yes. Territory is up there, menacingly looking down upon us. We've got one teleporter already set up in Zamitra, and the next one we're going to set up is going to be over here in Hi Mu Hor over here. Well, and, and then Ariminzu. And uh I want everyone to keep an eye out for uh friendly trading stations so we can add those to our teleport chain. Ah. Because uh like if we find a friendly teleport station uh before we put down a uh whatchamacallit, uh, teleport node, we can use the friendly teleport station as part of the teleport chain. Yeah. We're going to have so, to make a list so we know which order so, to go in. So if you're sitting down and you're flying through space, how do you know if it's uh, uh, there, actually? Well, if you look in your map, uh, you'll be able to see a uh, sector called Station. And it looks like a yellow, sort of weird-looking International Space Station station. And that will be a sector that has a space station in it. Now, it's possible that some of the planets would have space stations in them. We'd have to check each individual one. And usually, only when you get closer to their territory will they have it. So maybe in Creel space, we'll find some that we can teleport. You're talking about the star map, right? Yeah, uh, when you look at the system map, uh, instead of, like, it, there'll be a planet thing that will have that. Like, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it because you joined us afterwards, but if you try to go up to uh, the legacy, legacy star system called Azo, it's the green... Uh, O1A type and you open it up uh, there's a planet or a, a thing in there called I Tenuivery 5 or whatever and that's the space station where we uh, I think that's the space station where we got our butts kicked um, there was a station there? remember the legacy space station that we uh Bru but did you core it? No, because we couldn't finish it because we got attacked by the legacy ships. It was a tiny little base too. It was not much to it. Yeah, it, it was the it was a refit design of one of the uh, regular trading stations, and uh, it had been refitted as a uh, legacy base. Okay, well, I went into Lucky Sea Space in the star map, and I see AZO, O1A, or 01A. Is that the one you're talking about? Yes, 
I don't know if you'll be able to uh, access it because it's uh, uh, because you didn't go there, so. Uh, how do you, how would I access it if I were to try? Just double click on the star. Okay, yeah, no, I, I can double click on the star. I, I can see stuff now. I haven't seen the black hole yet, have I? No, we have Open not. Um, the only one I know of is back near, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, back near Elyon. Well, I, I see something that looks like uh, orbital space station. It's kind of orangish. Yeah, that that's what I'm talking about. The so last word is phi. P H I. Yep. Yeah, if you look for those while we are on our way back, like every time we jump to a star system, just open up that map, and if you see one of those, let me know because I may miss it. Um. And I. Uh, and more than likely, it's a friendly station. There's a chance that it'll be a Xerax station, but more than likely it's a friendly station. Yeah, I was going to say, it doesn't signify who owns it. It just says, for me, it says undiscovered and neutral. No color, not red, not yellow. It's orange. Yeah, the, the actual, because you can't actually see the station itself. You just see the station icon, like a planet icon. And so you won't be able to see who owns the station until you actually go into that sector. I help you with anything uh no at all or are you all set right now i'm good dark you fall down again no that was me i'm perfectly fine i i've been really wanting to try out that um there's a thing in the um, tech tree where you can heal somebody. I don't know what you're referring to. Oh, you never, use and, I'm sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, never mind. It's, it's, it's in uh, Reforge Eden. It's not in this game. Yeah. Oh. So there's like a tool or a weapon you can point at, it at an ally? And yeah, heal? they have a uh, healing tool in Reforged Eden. I don't remember what it's called. It's kind of cool. It's sort of like the uh, multi-tool repair tool, but it repairs people. What do you use for components for uh, Cobalt? Do you use matrices? Uh, for cobalt, I usually just use cobalt alloy because that does cobalt and iron at the same time. Okay, I see. Yeah, it's the highest uh... one. Dark, what level do you have to be to spawn that in? Not much, really. It's, uh, like level 12, I think. You're level 12 hey. already? Wait. Actually, I don't even know what level I am. I have to check. Hey. Hold on. Ocho, eight. Well, wow. I'm only level six. I'm such a noob. 
Yeah, you gotta be 12 for that, so let me see where I'm at. Eight. I'm eight? Oh, I got four more levels to do it anyway. So Let's much for that. Stuff. Let's go to a planet and kill stuff. Yeah, I know. I don't get to do my debut spawn right now. Great. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, it's, okay. We'll get it. we'll, we'll get you there. Yeah, sweatshop master making us mine for piddly points. Just kidding, I don't mind. You guys gave me the the, the Nabim. Although I did uh, redo it, and uh, now it's a tier four. And I actually started working on some deco stuff, so it looks really cool now. Yeah, bigger? No, it's not big. It's not bigger, but I was able to put the constructor back in, and it's a tier four ship now. Hey, DM. Yeah, what's up? Are you still in the market for making the team bigger? Yeah, sure. I got another guy. Ooh, more people. I know a guy that knows a guy that knows a guy that wants to play. Well, this guy in particular, he's a really good designer. He's well-known. He wants to jump in. I have no problems with it as long as, you know, they're decent people and, you know. Um, really? You know I'm an asshole, right? <laughs> but, and, and like I said before, as long as I... I don't know why I'm even trying to do this. Um, as long as, you know, like if, if we get enough people, we might actually just start over with a large group. Um, and... Don't put a lot together and stuff. You well, know. oh, he's quite seasoned. He's, he's probably played as long as you have, too. What's his name? Alessia. Okay. Basically, though. basically put it this way. His uh, designs have made it into Jeff Randall's inventory. That's why. I was thinking it was going to be Jeff Randall. I'd be like, really? But yeah, but Jeff Randall loves his designs, and he puts it under his collection. That's sweet. That's saying hey, something. Right want... Oh, is he from England? He's from Germany. He's about an hour from me. Oh. People all over the world. Does he want to play now? Well, we usually play on another uh, server, and he's the one that was calling for help earlier. So I just oh, jumped right. over there and did the little favor. But I, tell him, I did tell him about I do Mondays with you guys. And he's like, oh, okay, cool. And he just kind of just stayed quiet. He's like, do you want to join us? He's like, oh, I'll join if you guys allow me. He's like, okay. Because he's very bashful about asking for these things. Uh, he has to talk to know it all first, though. Yeah. I'm not compatible with all that. I, I, I just want people to be keen players. I don't. Exactly. That's all I will want. You did tell him this is a co-op, right? Where the, the server's not up all the time. Yeah, yeah, he's aware about my Mondays. Oh, that's why I told him. Okay, cool. But yeah, no, that would be great. Um, I've got a large uh, landing pad for you here. L2. Oh, sure. Now we know who's the favorite. I didn't get that for the Nabim. Sure you did. It's over there. It's already. It was already built. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I didn't get that special touch. Well, that's because we didn't need it at the time. We had enough space for it. I mean... All right, so if we're ready, I think... We all just go ahead and start heading towards where we're going to put down the next teleport node. So are we going back towards Ilion? We're going back towards there, but we're only going to, we're only going like two jumps. We're going to Zemitra where we already have one set up in the next to the star. And then we're going to Kalamahur, uh, uh -huh. which we're going to have to go to a nearby planet 
because you can't spawn things in, but you can build them around the sun. That is weird. Also, in case my voice sounds a little funny at times, I, I had a uh, throat, sore throat the last couple of days. And so I'm uh, downing cough drops like like peppermints. So um, you sound funny. yeah. One time you sound weird. There's lag, and you start talking like a robot because the you know the voice thing gets weird. Yeah, but I'm just letting you know in case later on my voice gets worse and worse. I'm sitting down. I'm not. Knit to the bridge. No, he's sitting now. You want to set up a secondary cockpit for the Leviathan for emergencies, like in the back somewhere? Um, I, I was considering that, putting one in the engineering section. I don't think it's oh, necessary, but we could do it just in case. Chairs everywhere. I am sitting. All right. All right, flight systems are already activated. Uh, did you retract the uh, docking ramp? I can do it. I, I know where it is, usually. <laughs> now nah, the ramp's still sticking out. It's on yeah, the port side. You know how I remember port side? Because port left and left have four letters. Yeah, that's how I do it. That's how Captain Adonis taught me how to do it. <laughs> yeah, that's where we learned it too, yeah. All right, we good? All right, ready for warp in three, two, one. Hold on here. And frag a lot got thrown out. <laughs> nope. Hold on to my butt. So you're, you're saying you can't spawn in a teleport node here, correct? Correct. Not that we would need to because we already have one uh, right is. up Where? here at the top. Yeah. It's not in this sector. We're in the left sector. It's in the top sector. Oh, okay. Now we're in the top sector. And, of uh, a different sun. No, of the same sun. I just warped two... The uh, warped to my waypoint where it has teleport node. Bet y'all didn't know you could do that. <laughs> you have to look if you have already waypointed. And so here is the only teleport node that's going to be in a sun system because I, I still don't know why they let you build in it, but not. Uh, Spawn uh, blueprints. Not spawn blueprints. It's weird. And so now we're heading to towards Kemuhor. I hate it. It throws, keeps throwing me out of the map in the star system when I try to look. Yeah. I don't bother. Yeah, when, you're, you're, when you're warping, it will do that. Warp at least one more time, I think. Or two more times. All right, so we need to set up a teleport node in this sector. But we have to warp to a to planet. A planet. I think Hanua is the closest planet to the sun by looking at the uh, orbital Ooh. lines. We can do any of the space sectors. Pretty much anywhere, really. Yeah, but matter. it's also the closest sector to the sun, and I want it as close as possible because it's completely yeah. solar-based, so. 
Or power. I understand. Which our, uh, the space station we have out here is completely solar powered. And it's like at 100% right now, so. I mean, it doesn't use a whole lot of whatever, but. Yeah, the one you just designed last week, it's pretty simple. It's really, it's just the teleporter and that's it. Yeah. Okay. Um, we are going yeah, to, but to find well, a we even have a regular set. generator in it or, or a generator and a, and a fuel tank at all? No, no, the teleport nodes do not. The space station does as a backup, but the teleport nodes do not because it shuts off the only power drain when we're not there. So it should constantly be gaining power until we teleport to it. I need to visit Sick Bay. Where's Dr. McCoy? All right, uh, we're gonna take a little. Uh, we're done warping for now, so um, I'm gonna head outside. Let me get my EVA on and spawn in the second teleport node, which will be called teleport node one, I believe, because I think zero was the first one that I did. Oh, we're not within range of anything on our ship teleporter, of course, because ships only uh -oh. have the same sector you're in. <laughs> um, the one at the sun is teleport node one. Is it node one? Okay. I thought I may have named it teleport node zero. Oh, I have it on a, uh, yeah, teleport node one. I have it on a waypoint. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> We don't have uh, time to go to any of the planets or anything like that, or no? I mean, we could. I mean, there's no reason why not. Hey, you're not speaking anymore on the solar system. I'm sorry, Fred. What, 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 what did you say? You're not speaking anymore on the solar system that has warp, which mine does not. Yeah, yeah um, mine does, but... I don't want to hold us up either. I mean, if it's just spawn it in and move on to the next thing, I can wait. I didn't see any, like, uh, space stations, so. I mean, right now, I'm just setting up this teleport node. I hope it doesn't get attacked by anything. But that... that... Yeah, we have to be there before to get it. We should see a thing in the control panel when it might. Yeah. Uh, we should, but I don't think they have that implemented for space no. yet. Not, not in, well, I think they do, but we're in neutral territory. We're not in anybody's territory. I mean, so they, I they've got the attacks, yes, but I don't think they have the uh, bases that tell you what's going to attack it in space yet. I could be it, also, it, right, right, yeah. it also says this whole sector is player versus player, by the way. Almost every sector is going to be PvP, so... All that really means is that now you guys can damage the ship, so don't set off explosives. Or GRG can finally shoot you because he wanted to since the beginning. I mean, he could. No, I really don't want to hurt no one. Okay. Um, going ahead and setting up the factory for the next... Uh, the next thing, getting it started. Demium uh, is 70. Okay, uh, copper is 42, I should, let me just throw all these in there because I'm going to use them anyway. In fact, let me go ahead and... Wow, there's three moons here. Yeah. Ooh. 
Yeah, planets can have anywhere from zero to three moons now. You already spawned it. All right, the next node is ready to spawn in. Whenever you guys are ready, let me know. Un momento. Ready, Freddy. Oh, nice. This next one has a uh, lava planet that's almost right next to the sun. All right. Why is that nice? I know it all. Because the closer to the sun a teleport node is, or a a uh, solar or power base, base, the yeah, faster base. and more efficient its solar power will work. I gotcha. Did you make a change to the Leviathan? Because I don't recall the thrusters being in the front. No, there was thrusters in the front. There's always been thrusters in the front. That's the first time I've noticed them. Yeah, no, I've had the V-shaped thrusters in the front, plus two on the side of the ship facing forward. Now we should be able to see the planet from here, unless it's on the other side of the star. Epsilon 15295, 1. Or I. I'm not sure if Johnson and I are a pipe. That's weird. India. You, you can't see the planet from here, but you can definitely see the sun from the planet. Oh, wow. I was in a uh, sec sector map, I guess, showing all the planets. Mm -hmm. And it actually showed the ship for a couple of seconds, tele uh, not teleporting, but warping. warping over. Yeah, that was cool. I've seen that, yeah. Sometimes it'll still be there. You go back to the map. No, at all. This has Sathium, Promethium, Neodymium, Magnesium, Sacosium, and Pendaxid. As asteroids, yeah. And yeah, we're using a lot of Pentaxid right now, too. I'm just warping around. Yeah, we may want to go and grab some more because I'm also using. Oh, excuse me. I'm also using 20 Pentaxid, like 20 raw Pentaxid per blueprint. Um, I would only be able to hand drill it, uh, and because my ship doesn't have drills on it, but uh, that's, what that's what the SOVs are for. To go down to the planet and drill. I mean, you could do that, but I mean, they've got asteroids in space. Oh, um, is so? Are we going to look around, or can we put? Um, I mean, we can. Detectors on the uh, ROVs and uh, detectors. Just yeah, checking. The detectors on. Well, in my single playthrough, I, I put one on, and it helps me get alerted to drones coming and other bad things. You got the CPU for it. Yeah, no, that's not a problem. No, it doesn't. Huh.
We can use the Leviathan to actually find the resources and just go out with the uh, SOVs to mine them. That's cool. I'll just stay seated unless you guys need me to do something. So I'm actually working on a uh, multi-part capital vessel. It's a, um, I don't want to say modular because it's got specific parts that detach and retach. It's not supposed to be interchangeable or anything, but it looks a lot like a uh, Star Trek ship, like a, uh, you know, like, like the Enterprise or whatever. Uh, but, sitting. I just leveled out. Sorry. But I... Uh, but it's like the saucer section detaches into three separate parts, and then you've got the uh, a, a sort of central connector connected to the warp drive section. When it gets done, all four parts are going to have uh, SV or CV detectors on them, and uh, and it's going to be really interesting. I just so it's going to be like Star Trek slash Voltron. Um. Do you know what the Star Trek ship, the USS Prometheus, is? I can't remember what class that is. I've it, seen it. I've seen it. Yep, yeah, I've a, seen it. I know what you're doing. It's a Prometheus class vessel. It was a. Uh, it was specifically uh, created to fight against the Dominion, I believe. And nine. Say what? DS nine episode or <laughs> Voyager. Oh, Dominion, Dirk. Well, the Dominion was in Deep Space Nine, but uh, in the specific episode with it in it, the doc, uh, the holographic doctor, uh, sent himself through a network of alien satellites and connected to the closest uh, Starfleet ship, which happened to be the Prometheus, which had been commandeered by Romulans. And uh, yeah, it was a weird adventure. But the Prometheus can split into, I don't remember if it was three or four parts, uh, as a combat ship so that it splits apart and you can be used to fight, you know, different things and such at, at the same time. Hmm. I have to remember that. I got to watch that again. It's in season five, I think. Yeah, I saw it. It separates into three pieces. Yeah. But unlike the Enterprise, the Galaxy-class vessel, which is meant to do that as a defensive thing to protect the saucer section, the Prometheus splits into three separate pieces made specifically for combat. So they both, all the pieces become more light, agile, and everything. And that's sort of what this ship is going to be based on, the one that I'm working on. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. Um, but uh, it's it's got... Yeah, it's, called, it's called Message in a Bottle. Yes, Message in a Bottle. That's, that's the episode. But uh, I've only got half the saucer section made yet. Like, you know, one section of the saucer section. Because it's got the left, the right, and the top part that it's going to have. It's four in a cell, so when it separates, and each ship has two. Yeah. But it's, you said it splits up in three, so maybe... Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the core part of it re retains two nacelles, and the other parts each have one nacelle. And there's a Pentaxid asteroid, so I don't know why this ship, is, maybe it's just because it's so heavy, but it's not behaving the way it used to. I, I did eat a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's just we have so much resources and such on the it, ship now. So it splits, so each two ships have two pairs, have one pair of nacelles, and the third one is the top front that doesn't have the cells. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't remember exactly how it splits it up. It's very pointy. Yes, it is. My ship, on Ooh, the other oh, hand, man. is more, looks more like a, uh, 
I want to say an ambassador class, I guess. Round. Which the the ambassador class is what the uh, Enterprise C was. Which you only see in one episode of The Next Generation. That caused a mirror universe of sorts. Well, it, 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 it caused the alternate timeline, in which case the, yeah. Yeah. I'm glad I have people who know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, I personally didn't like Mirror Universe, to be honest. Got things got way too complicated. Well, I, I liked the Mirror Universe, and I liked alternate realities. One of my favorite episodes is the one where Worf is continually slipping from reality to reality to reality, and everything's changing around him constantly. Um, in case we didn't say it, everybody should be getting in an SOV and mining now. Apart from me, I'm working on the next... Yeah, I was already on it. <laughs> I was on it. Yeah. Oh, I can get out of my chair now? <laughs> yes, that's that's what I was saying. <laughs> you get out of the chair when we tell you to. <laughs> Oh, where do we put the pentaxid? Uh, raw pentaxid, just put it in the uh, the constructor input. Anything that you're going to be mining from uh, an asteroid, just put right into the constructor input. And it fills up quickly. I think the next thing that we might need is going to be neodymium, so I'm going to head towards a ne try to find a neodymium asteroid. Um, once we get going again, there should be some in this sector. So, yep, there is. And you can throw the, the rocks in there, too, in the input if you want. Yes, or trash please them. do, because that's uh, that, that's where I've been putting them. Is your Wi-Fi on the, um, on the Leviathan? Because I can't reach it. The Wi-Fi should be there. You... you Keep in mind, the Wi-Fi only extends to 100 meters from the Wi-Fi device, so... That's pretty big. Or someone's in it, probably. Yep, I think we suck this one dry. What's this one doing here? What is which one? Uh, the tree cutter is just sitting in the middle of the dock. Middle of the bay. I don't know. Did somebody move the tree cutter? Well, it wasn't me. I didn't even know we had one. Oh, they mean the harvester? Yeah, I was moving it out of the way because it was blocking. 
blocking way. You're supposed to park them all on the other side of the yeah. thing. Yeah, GRG, you're on the wrong side of the uh, <laughs> of the bay. All the uh, heart mining SOVs go on the other side. The harvester is literally the most out of the way thing. And just a reminder, don't forget to uh, refuel, reoxygenate, and turn off your weapons. It cannot take more. I hate this one. I won't take that one bottle. Exceeding capacity, so I won't accept it. Even though it's like less than half. It's at 39%. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why I wish they would let you build the smaller ones in the regular things We are also out of iron right now, so it's it's using the crushed stone to make iron. Yeah, I tried to refuel it and put oxygen in, but it won't let me put it in either bottle over. That's fine. Yeah, either it's full or if you're connected to a thing, uh, to a Wi-Fi container, you actually have to manually drag them over. You can't just shift click them for some reason. I'm sitting down. Okay, there's three more nodes of something out there. Yeah, I'm going to see if we can find either iron or neodymium. I don't think there's any iron in this sector, so neodymium will probably be our best bet. Okay, I think we're all sitting. Are we moving straight up? No, we shouldn't be. We should be going straight forward. Because the is like coming straight down and behind us. Like we're kind of going forward and up at the same time. Yeah, I don't know why it... That's weird. For some reason it was doing yeah, that. Yeah. Going straight up through. Yeah, it, okay. Yeah. Him? 
We might come back to that one. Oh, it's kind of cool. You can actually see the... Um, What's that sector called again? Where the legacy is? You can see it right in the space right there. All the stars lined up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. With the green star in the middle and... Yeah. Small details like that matter in a game, so it's quite cool they did that in this instance. Yes, I love that. That's one reason I love this game is that they, like, they, they continually surprise me with how much detail they've been putting into things. So theoretically, what's going to happen is if you're sitting on that planet down there, you should be able to see those constellations as well. Yes, but unfortunately yes. on the planets, you cannot. The stars on the planets are just, it's a star field they threw into the sky. The space. I ha In space, they actually have stars like you can see where you can go. On the planet, it's like, oh, it's just a, a, a static star field that they have that they put in on the sky as a backdrop. And I've heard they're trying to figure out how to get it to change to, you know, do right. But as of right now, it's a logistical issue. They didn't go into detail as to what specifically is the problem, but... I know what the problem is, because all the planets are really flat. That would also be true, yes. Because when you go on there, the planets are actually flat planets, not curved planets. Because if the... If they were curved, they would look look humorously curved, like the planets in uh, true. in Spore do. <laughs> they hinted if they're gonna move uh, work on version two sometime or in that right now, I guess. I think that everything's being worked on. But then again, they only have like like a dozen people on the team that all work remotely. So I, I kind of have to ask, what's our end goal for this game? To take out Legacy? Basically, to... Uh, to Right now, it's just explore Legacy space, take out what we can, see new things in Legacy space, to see, you know, it's more of a see what's in there, see what's neat, you know, type thing. Whereas, you know... Which, by the way, I figured out the planet that Spange saw yeah. is no longer in the in the game. Oh, really? The metal planet? The the one that the, the legacy type planet. Uh they have the them. They had they ha they are going to put it back in, but right now for the full yeah. public release it is not in there. What? Wow. Okay, good. I thought cuz it's creepy and weird. It's not creepy, it's just weird. Yeah, but apparently that is going to be the end game planet for the entire I uh, Thing, uh, entire for at least the legacy uh, storyline. It, it appears to me is that it's the landscape of the planet looks like buildings, like it's textured and squared off to look like buildings. Yeah, it's made tall it, buildings. It, they did that on purpose. So, like a Cybertron, basically. I know, but I don't think it's metal. It's just they, they look like normal buildings. Well, to a point. And they and they light up and everything. You see windows. You don't see people in it, of course, because it's really it's just rock problem. And it's just t yeah, it's it's a rock texture made specifically for that planet. <laughs> Entire planet. It's just large areas, like 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 one third of the size of the of the side of the planet. From a distance, like a like a big giant like a moon crashed into it or something. From a distance, but as you get closer, you can see the details of all the individual buildings. And they all have like wings on the things. Yeah. Almost like a maze. Maze. That's probably the best way I can describe it. But I'm kind of glad they're doing that because the way when I was watching Spanish's video, all it is, it's that with just like peppered POIs everywhere. Like I see POIs everywhere. Which is kind of meh. So what? Well, I mean, the same POIs you've seen on the map. 
Well, not just that. There is one POI that he took a look at that was in the center of that uh, zone. And it uh, it was like a massive major legacy. Uh, uh, something I hadn't seen before. Um, was it like a, a dino, a diosphere or whatever they call it? Uh, no, it wasn't. No, it, it was like, what, what would you call it? I. Uh, I forget what they called really it. Case. But it, it looked like it would be an end game uh, structure. And for all I know, it went deep down underground, but he didn't go into it, so I don't know. Uh, so we're looking for iron or what? Neodymium. In this sector, there should be at least one neodymium asteroid, and I think this last asteroid that we're that I can see is going to be it because we've discovered zeaxanthin, promethium, sathium, magnesium, and pentaxid. Oh, so we found everything but that. Oh, as always, it's always the last thing you find. <laughs> right. Yeah, but at least, but this planet is one we do not want to go down to. Why? Because it's got 4.2 Gs of gravity. If we enter the atmosphere, we would fall to the ground. The GRG ship might be able to handle it. It's just nose up and his, take off. Yes, his ship might be able to. The Leviathan could definitely not. Oh, yeah. Nah, I don't think I can do four Gs. I'd have to add a couple more rear thrusters. <laughs> what about the moon? Oh, the moon would be fine. Moon's got like a fraction of a G. There's a big, there's a gas gyron way at the distance in front of us. I'm still waiting until the days that you can actually go into Gas Giants. Okay. Um, miners can go ahead and start mining. On our way, Captain. Oh, also, the uh, multi-part ship I was telling you about. Um, each section is going to have... Uh, CV drills on it to allow each section to mine a different asteroid at a time. So I guess there's going to be like an awkward docking protocol so the right ship is able to fly. Well... I mean, I'm going to have it so that each ship could dock to the thing by itself. And then uh, usually you would want to dock the top part first because that would make it easiest for the other two to dock, but they can dock individually. That's why I'm starting with them first and then going to build the uh, top part on top. The interiors of the ship have not even been touched yet. I've been working more on the connection points and and such so i've just got the basic you know gravity and power and i uh, don't even have oxygen on them so Thank you. 
All right, I've got three teleport nodes ready to go. I'm working on... Hold on. That's not the one I wanted. That's the one I wanted. Crap, I've got two base teleport nodes, which are not what I wanted. Crap. So we're going to have to go down to a planet and spawn in these teleport nodes, which are not solar powered, and then disassemble them. Why well, on a planet? We can spawn any kind of basin. Well, you know, space. you know, that's true. You, we can spawn it in space. It just, it'll look weird, but that's, you know, the, the, yeah. Yeah. I, I was forgetting about that. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I was thinking it's a planet based as, you know, teleport node. We need to... Okay, yes, you you are correct. And we can only build CVs in space. Who's in the uh, input box? Are you sure you're too far away? Well, he would say occupied when it when it's when he's in range. I was wondering why it needed so much concrete. <laughs> because the ground-based ones are made out of concrete, not iron. And these aren't even completed where people can use them yet because they require generator and all that stuff and I didn't set them up with solar power. So it's going to take 14 minutes for this next node to be spawned in. Did you spawn the other one already in so we can start deconning it? Oh, I just already took them apart and everything. So you just blueprinted the wrong blueprint, huh? Right, because I have two different teleport nodes. I've got two different teleport nodes. One is a ground-based one and one is a space-based one. And I was blueprinting the ground-based one when I should have been doing the space-based one. Uh, the name's similar, just got confused. Well, yeah, one's called ARVN teleport node and the other's called ARVN teleport space node. Space. But since we're going around and getting things and doing all this, by the time we get to uh, where we're going to spawn it in, it should be good.
Yeah, I think my problem was I get too far away from the ship, and when I tried to Wi-Fi it in, I actually had to get close enough and then reestablish to the um, input box. Yep, that's my problem, too. Well, I was just sleeping in my chair. Have you guys been picking the uh, vegetables and such? Not me. Every uh, shit... Every chance I get. Okay. I, I was just wondering why the mushrooms don't appear to be growing every time I come by. And if that, if you've been picking them, that would be why. <laughs> Stubborn. Because yeah, right now, like, the vegetables are ready. All of the, uh... Yeah, all of the uh, food on the port side is ready. Um, all of the medical and the grain is ready. It's just the mushrooms and the uh, space oranges are not yet. We got 317 mushrooms. Who's for days? Did someone already go pick or um, do I have a chance to go get it? I think you're a kid. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Dark is already picking everything. Uh, now I know how he's two levels ahead of me. Yeah, I've been foregoing picking them and just... Uh... Yeah, I don't even think about it. Level 25, I don't think about it. 